This is the first round, proudly saved by the Wimborne Motorcycle Club. And we think there is uh, the win and a very, very popular rider. Right, so come on, give him a good round of applause. Simon Wig, leading act, number one. Martin Hagen is next in line, number three. Then comes Rob Fortune, Martin Hagen there in the all-white leathers and uh, hair flowing in the breeze. He'll be uh, very keen indeed to put in a good uh, good performance this afternoon. Robert Fortune is number four. And uh, Steve Schofield with Passenger, not in the sidecar, but somebody there on Pillion. There's Rob Fortune. We wish him the best of luck this afternoon. He goes through. Steve Schofield, equally well known, of course, on the Speedway circuit. What, the Paul Pirate, Paul Echo Pirate? And uh, now riding for Hackney. And again, a great exponent on the grass track. Good to see Steve here. This Hinchin, they come to Marvin Cox. Marvin, number 11. A BRM comes from Toaster. Marvin again, equally well known on the Speedway circuit. And uh, he's got a bit of help as well there as he goes around. Darren Matthews, number 22. He's on a Golden Jawa. Number two, there goes Trevor Banks, another of the favourites for this afternoon. There's Darren just going through there under the tape. Number 23, that's Robert Price. Robert's on a Gordon. Pink again to uh, look at. Oh, what's with pink? I don't know. That's the in colour at the moment. Number 24 is Mark Wood. Mark is uh, in the meeting. Proper. Number nine there is Russell Foot. Number 26 is Gary Lloyd, Gary riding a GR. Number 25 is Kelvin Tatum, we've been telling you about the mad dash he's had to get from Germany and he's made it, so I'm sure he'll be wanting to make sure that all his efforts have been well worthwhile. But good to see him here, well done to Kelvin, really was a, a dash but he's made it. Number 32 is Paul Bentley, he's on his Hagen Garden. Looking for a good performance as they all are. This is the first round of the British Masters. Their four rides will uh, count forward into the next round. Number 33 is Nigel Harry. Nigel's on a Godden. Wish him the best of luck this afternoon. Number 86 is Mark Warren. Another of the Speedway fraternity. Looking very good in practice. Number 41 is Tony Forward. Tony with the green down the side and the yellow star. Number 46 is Will James. Will won the uh, Western winner, we believe, uh, not so long ago, and of course, but also a uh, former Paul Echo Pirate. Number 55 is Paul Fry. He's on a GMRTS. Comes from Hereford. There's Chris Underhill, number 38. Again, taking part in the meeting proper. In the white, so we'll look out for him. Number 39, that's Robert Ledworth, Robert riding a Jawa. 54 is Andy Riley. Number 68 is Alan Farmer, he's on a Hagen GR. Number 71 is Clayton Williams, he's on the Cross Westlake. Number 74 is Duncan Tolhurst. Duncan also taking part in the meeting proper, got a bit of help there as he goes around. Number 98 is John Boston. John on a Westlake from Starbridge. 75 is Phil Ashcroft. He's on a GR Jeweler. 126 is Tim Fay on the BRM. Come from there from Newton Abbott. 154 is Adrian Mower. Adrian again has got a place in the meeting proper. We wish him the best of luck this afternoon. Number 171 following him along the track is Gary Long. Gary on his Gordon Jeweler. 250 is Dave Manda. Dave again has got himself a place in the meeting proper. 711 is Lee Pavitt. Lee's on a GR. And that, we believe, is just about the solo lineup. So we wish all the competitors the best of luck for this afternoon. It looks as though we've got uh, number two there, Steve Smith and Keith Wall. I'm not sure whether Dave Ward is in the chair, but certainly uh, if he is, he's, uh, he's riding with considerable pain. Um, Steve Jewison there. Steve Jewison and John Mitten in the chair.
the chair. John Mitten in the chair, not fixing your programme. That's uh, Wrestling and Paul Urix on their FZR from Wing. In number seven, uh, Ken Lane and Eddie Alvis from Portingbridge with their Kawasaki. Number 23, that's Gary Jackson and Ian Harris. Unfortunately for that, perhaps. 
sponsored uh, walk out of this the God Battalion.
for Heat 5, Race 8, the first in the second qualifying round. This, of course, the British Masters and the riders trying to get as many points as they can from their four qualifying races to take into the second round of the Masters. We've got Simon Wigg on the inside. He's on the gate one. Trevor Banks is on the gate two. And let's see who gets the drop. And Simon Wigg is up there. Trevor Banks is second and being pushed hard by Alan Farmer, who's got an excellent start there in, in third. But uh, Simon Wigg it is leading the way uh, ahead of Trevor Banks. And a good battle going on for third. Alan Farmer's well up there. Last lap. Clear of Peter Reed. 
up here a bit now with uh, Robert Price and Vince Kinchin. Still Robert Price in third, Vince Kinchin in fourth. John Boston comes round the top third, takes the checkered flag and getting the ten points. There comes Peter Reed, he's going to get eight. There comes Robert Price. And then right, Tim Fay getting through in the fourth there on the line, just ahead of Vince Kinchin. Then comes Adrian Mariner and Dave Mander. Main group. Coming into line. Kelvin Tatum, he'll be off the inside. Next to him is Nigel Harry. Mark Law, if you're looking out for him, he's off grid four this time. Lining up very close indeed to Paul Fry, who's off of grid three. Mark Norman, and Paul Fry well up there as well. Mark Norman on the outside. Paul Fry's on the inside. Trying to go. Paul Fry darting through there on the inside of Mark Loram. Paul Fry leads round the turn ahead of Mark Loram. Those two leading the way. Then comes Gary Long in fourth. But Paul Fry still leading ahead of Mark Loram.
Ben and Marvin Cox. But Paul Fry leading. A good battle going on for third as well. Paul Fry leads it then. Alan Farmer is in second. Then comes Marvin Cox. And Lee Pavis. Third four, and they're ahead of Darren Matthews. And Chris Underhill. But Paul Fry opening up a very healthy lead. So his bike uh, manages to keep going this time round. He certainly was very unfortunate in his last outing. Got one lap now left to keep it going. Alan Farmer still in second, followed by Marvin Cox and Lee Pavis. Everybody keep it going pretty well, but it looks like it's going to be Paul Fry who's going to get those 10 points. And Alan Farmer's going to pick up a very useful eight. They come round the final turn. Here's a win for Paul Fry. Alan Farmer's there in second. Then comes Marvin Cox in third. Darren Matthews just crossing the line ahead of Chris Underhill. So the riders coming up now to the start line, waiting for the tapes to go. Being brought into line there by the starting marshal. The tapes are up. Let's see who makes the start. That is very close indeed. Trevor Banks is up there. Martin Hagen's up there. Gary Lom I saw well up there as well. But Martin Hagen, it is, who's into the lead, followed by Trevor Banks. And going very well indeed, chasing hard after Martin Hagen. Martin Hagen still leading for Paul Bentley. Then comes Gary Long. Then comes Steve Green. Vincent Tinch is well up there. And uh, Trevor Banks at the back, obviously having some form of uh, mechanical problems, we think. Martin Hagen then, still leading. Paul Bentley still in second, and Gary Lobb in third. And not that much to choose between them as they come along to start their last lap. Then Peter Reed in a fourth position. This is in fifth. Martin Hagen about to add ten very valuable points if he keeps the right going for the remaining half lap. Gary Lobb is trying hard to uh, get round Paul Bentley, and I don't think he's going to do it. A win for Martin Hagen. Very close on the line between Paul Bentley and Gary Lobb. Peter Reed, Vince Kinchin, then comes Tim Fay. He'll be going off of grid number seven. John Boston with the pink spoiler disc in if they go uh, shooting past you at a rate of knots. Simon Wiggs in the green leathers. Uh, let's see who can make the all important start. Oh my goodness me, I think that was Mark Lawrence who came uh, shooting. Time of asking, he'll be hoping, that's for sure. All the riders now coming into line. Start. Oh, someone else has come to greet there at the start line. Simon Wig has uh, zoomed away ahead of Mark Laura, and they're one and two. And somebody is down in a heap there. And the race is stopped. The red flags are out. The race is stopped. The way. So here we go again. Simon Wig made the start last. And Russell Foot on the outside. Simon Wick has, uh, has made has made the start. And Russell Foot in the black leathers up the brand there is in second place. As Mark Moreham, I think it is there, has just gone through now into second, leaving Russell Foot in third. Simon Wick is leading. Mark Moreham is there in second. Then 
comes Tony Ford, his first, Tony having a good outing in this time round. The two unbeaten men, Simon Wigg and Mark Lorham, are leading the field. Simon Wigg with a fairly good lead now, he's just over his shoulder. Ahead of Mark Lorham, then comes Tony Ford, he's followed by Andy Riley. Those are the first four. John Foster, not going to well this time, maybe having a few problems there. No such problems at the moment for Simon Wigg, who uh, comes round now to start his last lap. Head of Mark Moore. Still trying to get everything out of his machine he can. Tony Ford in third. Then comes Andy Riley. Then John Boston. Russell Foot. Simon Wigg, Wigg looking very good in his third win of the afternoon. Still unbeaten, he crosses the line to get ten more points. Then comes Mark Lorham to pick up eight. Six points will go to Andy Riley. A oh, Tony Ford, I beg your pardon. Then Andy Riley. Then John Boston. Russell Foot. The next the first lap. And there's Dave Mather. Then so. Uh, just never can tell, but I would think probably Steve Schofield would be the pre-race favourite. Just about then to get going, bikes revving, and the tape's starting, Mark Reaper in, the tapes are up, let's see who makes the start. And Steve Schofield in those uh, green levers as well up there, Kelvin Tatum got a good run into the first term, and it's Kelvin Tatum I think on the outside of Steve Schofield.
Baker. Gary Jackson and John Halsey.
number 150 and 186. That's uh, lend itself to grass track racing. It's a very fast course, and uh, I'm sure as you will be aware, the riders come to the line now. The meetings have been uh, lost due to this weather, but uh, people here have worked very hard to get it all on. And here we are, we're underway. Let's see, number 25, Kelvin Tatum, is just ahead of Paul Bentley, number 32. Just a 
Farman, I think, just getting in ahead of Marvin Cox. John Austin still uh, well clear. Trevor Banks in second. We think Alan Farmer now in third. Alan Farmer in third. He's ahead of Marvin Cox. And then comes Mr. Kitchen. Those are the first five. That's uh, quite a lead. John Boston has established. As he comes around to uh, goodness me, Trevor Banks, so I think he's in trouble here. And Alan Farmer comes through his second. Trevor Banks fighting back on the inside. Alan Farmer's on the outside. Marvin Cox is still there in fourth. Nick Kitchen in fifth. And Alan Farmer now through into second. So John Boston it is coming around the top turn. Looks as if he's going to pick up ten very valuable points. Alan Farmer in second, the big eight. Then comes Trevor Banks in third, he'll get six. Then comes Marvin Cox and Nick Kitchen. Then Tim Bay crosses the line, followed by Clayton Williams and Lee Pavitt. Had more points than he should have done, so perhaps look out for him as well. He's going off the outside, off of grid eight. Those are the riders who've been uh, showing most sports so far this afternoon, but of course it can all change. Somebody gets a good gate, gets away, and before you know it, there's uh, a big chase on. Let's see who makes the start then. Simon Wick's been uh, trapping very well indeed all afternoon long. Let's see if he can get another one. On Martin Hagen looks in the white there as if he may just have got the drop and he has done. It's Martin Hagen in the white leathers ahead of Simon Wig in the green and Steve Schofield on the outside in second and a real battle on here with these three top riders going to treat us I'm sure to a real exhibition of Arthur. And Steve Schofield now is trying to get on the inside of Martin Hagen leads it. Steve Schofield in second, Simon Wig is in third. That's the one, two, three position at the moment.
Scott, 184. All six outfits are out. Ken Lane looks like they're just coming into line there with Eddie Alvis in the chair.
Mark Loram's well up there in second position at the moment. Those uh, green leathers of uh, Simon Wigg leading the way ahead of Mark Loram. And then uh, John Bostin's, if Irvin's Kinchin's out. John Bostin just losing third position there. Simon Wigg third. Mark Loram is in second. Then comes Gary Lott, who uh, is doing very well there in third. Only just uh, managed to qualify, but uh, he's showing good pace in this one. And he's up there in third position, making really making the most of his chance. So Simon Wigg looks over his shoulder. Still got a comfortable lead ahead of Mark Lawrence. Then comes uh, Gary Lott going through there. He's being followed by Alan Farmer. Then uh, John Boston. Simon Wick starting his last lap now. He's going to be making it through to the final and this is Mark Lawrence as well. Gary Lobb, this point should be very difficult for him as he can keep going. Alan Farmer then goes through, followed by Andy Riley and John Boston. Ten more points then for Simon Wick. That's going to move him up to 46. Mark Lawrence, he's going to be on 46 as well. He takes second. Very uh, good ride indeed. Gary Lock getting third ahead of Alan Farmer. Then comes Andy Riley. Then John Boston. Followed by Vince Kinch. Three way have choice in order of the points that they went through. So Martin Hagen had first choice, Steve Schofield second, and so on. Martin Hagen shows for it too.
Baker, Mark Edwards, Gary Jackson and Ian Harris. Arms raised aloft there, they're not quite ready yet, but I think they very soon will be. It's trying to get a suitable position. And they're away. One of them's not happy with what's going on there. Left. Raj! Raj! Stay me! Looks like Raj Mesa, number 51. Here we go, revving machines. Climbing on the sixth ride of those. We can see the Alan Farmer again has gone out very, very quickly. And it's Alan Farmer who leads around the top turn. Will James, we think, is uh, fairly well up. And all fairly, uh, well James in fact not in the uh, starting lineup. so uh, Alan Farmer it is though who's uh, leading very handily indeed as he comes round the top first, well pleased with this so far, Andy Riley still in second, then comes Phil Ashcroft in third, still had a fairly consistent afternoon, and uh, Rob Battle on there for that third place. Alan Farmer fairly well clear of Andy Riley, but uh, Battle really on for third place. The leaders start their last lap. Alan Farmer crossing the line now. Just ahead of Andy Riley. Then Gary Lott trying uh, to get in there. In, he's currently in four, going on the inside now. I think Gary's just about going to do it. Through in the third. Yes, he is. Gary Lott through in the third. They come round the final turn. Then Alan Farmer. Andy Riley is there in second. Oh, my word, very close on the line there between Gary Lom and Phil Ashcroft. I really couldn't split them. Then comes Vincent Kinchin. So just four to go. And once they've gone off the tape, that is, and uh, the starting marshals will be there, they can go, and they will. They've, they've gone, lost, somebody's lost a bit of ground there, and a couple of them lost a bit of ground, but uh, meanwhile, two of them uh, pushing on, Jerry Adams, number 55, Steve Jones, number 4, number 23, Gary Jackson. Gary Jackson, obviously, still at home, was still on the line, but has made uh, a lot of progress. Meanwhile, Jerry Adams and uh, Sean Piddock, number 55, 
place for 